Welcome. Welcome to Brambleberry Cottage. Another week. Yeah. And we are getting closer and closer to Halloween. Uh, this week we are tackling a, a few projects that are it's kind of our fine details week. We're tackling all the little details. Well, the big detail is going to be the backsplash. Yes. That's the main project, I think, this week. We are finishing the brick. Um, I'm sure you're sick of seeing all the brick everywhere. We are not obsessed with brick. We're going for a certain look. We want it to give the impression of an exposed brick. Um, we want that English cottagey um, look to our home, but also that beachy look too, and I think it, it goes well with both. Okay. It'll all make sense when we are done with all of these projects in the cottage, we will show you everything and it will hopefully make sense to you then. Um, it's also a very economical finish. It yes. looks great, it's seamless at the end, and it's very cheap. So It is. So we enjoy that aspect of it. Yeah, and there'll be no investment this week right. for that because we still have those materials on hand that we right. have bought for the other projects for that uh, brick look. Yeah. So um, we still have the paints, we still have the... Point um, compound. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, um, and it, like Paul said, it's it's very economical for us and it'll look great. It's definitely the look we would like behind um, the backsplash piece. What I'm really concerned about the most, I think, is the stove and cooking where we might get... Um, the cleaning. Yeah, it right. might might be hard to clean it. We're but thinking about putting a coating of uh, polyurethane, a matte polyurethane on, on the brick, on the faux brick, uh, to give it a little more cleanability. Yes. Hopefully. But for now, um, in another year or two, the thing is this really was no cost. So in a year or two, if it's like, ooh, that's just not working out, even with that coating on it, we can always change it or at least right behind the stove. And we'll see if we want to upgrade this if, thing. If we want to. Right. Uh, but we're excited about yeah. it. So yes, more brick. And yes, even after that, there's even more. We're going to be doing that even in the basement at some point. So oh, you yeah. may be bricked out by then, but um, believe me, there is a reason for it. We really want it to look like it was original to the home the best we can. So that is the big project. Yeah. But then it's the fine details. Um, for now, we really want to give the kitchen as much of a finished look as possible. We have so much more to do in the kitchen, but um, we're going to start with uh, the doorknobs, um, right. and we're going to have like a nice matte black, um, more modern uh, farmhousey uh, doorknob, um, and the hinges to match. So we instead of right. that brass look, we tried to spray paint them years ago, so it had that black painted look to it. It's not the same, and it does wear. wear. Right it really does, and it just looks terrible. So um, we're going to be getting new, new doorknobs and new hinges, uh, new switches and outlets as yes. well. We've got, got the old, um, the beige ones that were original to the house, and with the uh, the brick, they stand out. They're, they're really old. They look dingy. So we put some nice white outlets and switches on there. Yes. So it, that's another project. Yeah, it'll it'll look cleaner and yeah. and more with the kitchen fresher, yeah. yeah it'll look fresher it'll it'll look right with the kitchen yeah. so and it, we just want to update it and sometimes that's the best way to do things with um, your budget like where do i put the money in it's really like paint uh, wall techniques um the little details like doorknobs and hinges and light switch covers and uh, all that kind of stuff or even accessories here and there that yeah. really changes the look it for a very cheap out. cost yeah. yes and sometimes free which is great so we're going to be finishing that and another thing i don't know what to call it i don't know if you know but um our chandelier um, right. we have a small house so when a lot of people come in from the back door into the kitchen they walk in and there's a lot of people there's a tight corner there but that has to stay but when we they come in they hit their head on one of the chandeliers and we it do hangs have, a little lower, but yeah, we do have actually pretty decent size height. Oh, we have good ceilings. We do. The chandelier is hanging a little low, and also it's not centered over our table. Yeah. So we're going to. Um, we centered it more to the room. Well, the builder did. Yeah, they put it right in the center, one yes. on each end of the kitchen. We need to move it over where the table is going to be. So we're going to work on recentering that. Yes. Um, this week as well. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know what that's called, but instead of moving the whole unit, there is. Um, like a circular um oh yeah. move the chain over and hang the chain from so we need to get a longer chain because we had shortened it so it would help with people bonking their heads which they still do but so we'll have an, a longer chain and then there's a unit to attach it that goes on to the ceiling and then a little hook where it'll hook on so it'll give you that 
right over, centered over the thing. And it's kind of a neat look to it. I, I've always yeah. liked that. Um, under the cabinets, we are, there's a, the kick plate under there. We have like this faux wood um, kick plate design and it just, it doesn't go right with the rest of the look in the kitchen. So we're going to be painting that as well. Nothing super exciting, but it'll, it'll yeah. really be noticed for us and, and we'll show you, it'll make a difference. Especially when the kitchen that. is totally done, we'll have yes. the black and whites. Uh, in the kitchen will be the black highlights, mostly white with some black highlights. Yeah. So, and that'll go along with that, so. It'll look nice. In the end, it'll really match, it'll tie all together. It will. Yeah. So that's what our plan is for this week. Um, obviously, as the weeks go on, we'll be doing way more with the kitchen, but I think this might be the last week for a while until after the holidays. The holidays are gonna take up a lot of our time, and we just don't wanna do some deep construction right. in the kitchen. Right, tearing apart the, the counters and sink and everything. Yeah. We'll wait until after the holidays for all that. Yes, and we do do things on a very tight budget, sometimes for free. Um, but so unless something presents itself where it's like, gee, we can't miss the steel, let's put this new cabinet in or this new um, sink in, because we do intend on doing that and even changing out one of the windows over the sink. A lot of that is a, maybe a bigger budget, much right. bigger budget than we would have liked before the holidays. We want to start focusing on shopping and buying Christmas. presents for yeah. Christmas. So because of that, um, we're going to be putting that on hold until after the holidays, but right. it probably will be our big concern after the holidays when we've cleaned everything up and gotten back to uh, getting rid of the Christmas decor and all that. We'll be getting back to our regular house decor. Then yeah. at that time, we'll be ready to start again. And we also want to save our energy <laughs> for the holidays. Right. So um, because of that, we'll be prob probably this will be the last week for now and then we'll be focusing on other rooms and other things. So, that's it for this week. The adventure continues. <laughs> it's always an adventure here um, at Brambleberry Cottage. Um, but yes, the, you're right. It continues indeed. So, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. And uh, come see what we've got this week. because it was a little bit 
chewed up after the paneling came off and we had to retape and re-mud. We're not being very particular about it and really pristine because we're going to return um, to the faux brick uh, facade that we're doing here. So um, we have that situated right now. It's been drying overnight and we're going to be doing the faux brick very, very soon. So while we're waiting, um, I am painting the bottom kick plate of the cabinets. It's this faux uh, wood, I almost said faux brick, faux wood, <laughs> bricks on the brain. Uh, faux wood um, look to it and it just doesn't go with everything. Soon we'll be replacing the countertops after the holidays and we'll be tackling certain other things. So for now, the, what I can do for now is uh, at least do the template. So when we replace the counters and now that the cabinets are where we want them for now, uh, we want that to look like it goes together. So we're going to be painting that black. So I have some tape around the trim, masking tape and electrical tape because I ran out of masking tape. It doesn't stick very well. But I have that attached to the floor as close as possible to that uh, kick plate because I don't want to get any paint on the floor. Um, it's always good to prep your surfaces, otherwise you're going to have a heck of a time cleaning it up after and could scrape off some of the paint. So try to do that prep work. It's a pain in the neck, but it's better done than not. I'm using a Glidden Premium black paint. And we're just going to get one coat for now on this kick plate. so much better. You don't notice it as much uh, when you're not thinking about it, but when it's done, it'll make sense and it'll match better to the cabinets and the accessories like the knobs and the handles. electrical tape because it's also black, it, I'm going to have to really pay attention not to get it on the floor. And it's starting to come up off the floor a little bit, which is a little frustrating. Thank you. 
paint this brick panel. It did take two days this time because we made them a little bit thicker than over there. When we did the wall over there, uh, the first time we attempted this, it came out great. We love it, we still love it. But we had put the bricks on thin. We had put a thin coat because we didn't know it was our first time. We still love it, but I now wish that I had done it a little bit thicker. Um, so it didn't look as much um, like a panel or painted on. It would have been more authentic. These are more authentic. Um, there are pieces like right here where we might you know, just kind of pick away at it so it's not too messy. Um, they're just misshapen a little. Um, but that's the great thing about brick. They're a little misshapen. So um, we're going to prime right now. There are some that are a little bit not quite cured yet, and it's been two days. I'm still going to prime it and hope that it works out for the best. Um, but the rest are completely dry. So what we're going to do is prime it now, and then after that, uh, give it about, I don't know, maybe half an hour to an hour to dry. I am running the dehumidifier in the house consistently. I am opening windows on occasion. I'm running a fan, a box fan, and off and on. Uh, because it's that time of year, it's, we're in late October right now, it's about that time where we maybe could put the heat on. Um, I've been trying to avoid it because our house is generally very warm. But um, I'm putting on the heat on occasion just to help maybe heat up the kitchen to help dry these bricks. So I probably will do that soon. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at now and I'm about to prime. After a while, these are still all good, but we have a little bit of brown. Um, and for the brown, I'm using a royal uh, dark brown. Royal is a brand, dark brown. I have these are all interior paints. I have the Bare Paint and Primer. It's a gray. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of this one. Um, I don't know. It's a dark gray of some kind. Um, and then I have the Glidden Premium, and it's a, uh, it's just black. Okay, so we're gonna try that. We're gonna try these colors and get this moving. Now I don't worry, I'm just going here and there with the brown, and I come in and I kind of look at it, and then I decide from there what I'm gonna do. But I go kind of stagger the colors, uh, just so it blends in a little bit. Um, each one is a little bit different when I do a project, but it will all come together because that's what bricks are. Bricks are all very unique. They're not all the same. Everyone has a different gradation of color. So uh, also, don't worry if you get some on the grout lines. Uh, you can go back over later and get it later. Try to do the best you can not to, but know that you can go back over it later with the white. I'm making quite a mess because this brush has seen its, its last project with this brush. It's starting to get kind of feathered out. So by doing that with this brush, it's getting a lot onto the grout. But I'll go over and touch them up later. I'm a messy painter. Somehow I find a way to make a mess. 
I know how to do fine details, so don't worry. I will clean it up, but oh boy, do I make a mess. Not the kind of brush for fine details. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to have a lot of preparing to do. I'm going to come in with the gray next. We have a lamp here just to test. When you have to shut the power off, make sure you plug in a lamp or something so you know when it goes off that it's ready and that you won't get zapped. You want to shut, make sure the power is off.
here you see the finished backsplash, the faux brick backsplash. And you can see some of our outlet covers. We have some more to finish as we thought we had some on hand, some more, and we didn't. So we need to get some more. We'll show it by next week, but by the time we were finishing up this video, we didn't have time. So next week we will show that, the rest of the outlet covers, and we will show you the light we intended on doing um, up here. We wanted to move, um, have a chain and a mount up here so that that would be centered with this table. It didn't quite happen as it really got very, very busy. So that is why there. But we did do the, here the kick plate at the bottom. And that worked out really nicely. And we have our backsplash and some of the outlet covers done. So for now, this is where we're at in the kitchen. We will show you a brief thing next week of the chandelier being centered over the table, the rest of the switch plates, and the doorknobs and hinges that we didn't get to do for the pantry door and for our basement door in the kitchen that leads to the basement. We didn't get to finish those as this brick um, facade here, backsplash, took up way longer than we thought it would. Um, because we put it on thicker, the bricks, it took quite a few days for it to dry and we just got caught up in everything and then budget didn't quite allow so next week we'll be finishing off those and we're also we'll show you a quick thing of that next week and we're also going to show you uh, our next project next week which is very exciting and affordable hi there hello we wanted to thank you for watching our videos here on Brambleberry Cottage. We're having a lot of fun doing this. We really are. We hope you're enjoying watching them as well. If you are, please hit the like button. And above all, subscribe. That would be awesome. We'd love to have you a part of our Brambleberry Cottage family. Also, you can hit the bell in the little corner there where it's, it's a notification bell. So if you don't ever want to miss a video, You'll get a little notification when we have the next one up and you won't miss us. We hope that you're enjoying watching our videos. We hope that you'll come along and join us for the journey and uh, be a part of our gang. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.